All right, so we're gonna get our glove box out of here now so we can have plenty of room to work back here. It's very straightforward. It's held in by six screws. This one, interestingly enough, was already falling out. There's three across the top. There's one behind each arm, which you guys may be able to see. I'm sure you can catch that. And then there's one down here on the bottom. I bet you never thought you'd see your car this taken apart, huh? I might want to film the process just so you can prove to your buddies that you do have a brain. I'm just All right, this is pretty exciting, huh? Checking out removing these screws. And then the last one, right down here on the bottom. And don't lose these because uh, last thing you want is your glove box falling down and breaking. I don't imagine that would be economically feasible to replace. Okay, so the glove box, now we just, care with a little bit of metal around here. Just pull it out, latch it, unplug the light. Unplug the flashlight if you still have it. If you do, it's pretty cool. You just let's see, just compress, pull out. So we get the glove box out of the way, and now you can see we have this cavernous region down there where we're, whereby we can install any number of different things. So with the glove box out, let's pause here and uh, and join you back to uh, install some various components. All right, so regarding the GPS antenna, uh, I don't think it comes with any adhesive. I didn't, I didn't notice any. I don't know if this one was just missing it or whatever, but you wanna get some like 3M double stick tape. Uh, and again, for the time being, we're just gonna test it. So we're just gonna kind of put it up here on this front corner of the dash. Actually, it fits pretty nicely with the wire facing the, uh, the A-pillar. This A-pillar is kind of funky. Um, I'm just gonna tuck the wire in here like so. And using our plastic panel removal tool, just it just tucks right down there. And so, so there we go. And we'll tuck that up there later. Get it, make it nice and purty. So, take this cable. We tuck, tuck, tuck. Just and use our fingers there. And now, see, we have the cable down here. And it's very easy now. Obviously, we're going to have to be careful not to, to cross anything and leave room for the glove box. At this point, we just take the cable and bring it back here to plug into our head unit. So you want to leave the bulk of the cable down here because we don't have a whole heck of a lot of room back here. So we've got this in the way, or out of the way rather. Now we're gonna do the same thing with our Bluetooth connection, which I had over here. We've already kind of got it routed up here. We're gonna just tuck. Let's see, I don't wanna block the camera here. I think what we're gonna do is just kind of talk you through it. I don't know, because I don't think I can get up here. And you can see there's a big gap here. So we're just gonna kind of loosely do it for the time being. Can see so we'll just tuck 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 all in this gap we'll bring this around here to the weather stripping it's a little cold here today my fingers aren't very pliable all right so we'll just take that now maybe i'll get it tucked in there there we go i think after 16 years i'd be a little more my fingers hurt all right there we go finally all right so we take this just like the other thing just just tuck it down. You can see everything. We'll obviously tuck that here in a moment. But this will come down just like we did with our other antenna. Seemingly lost my tool. There it is. Like so. We get it down here and just tuck just like the other one. Just take care to hide it and make it look clean. Perfect. 
And now with this down here, again, the same thing, bring it around up through here. And this is gonna plug into the back of the head unit. So we've got our Bluetooth mic, we've got our uh, GPS antenna, we've got all of our other magic. This is our remote control eye, power plug, antenna, iPod cable, USB cable, whatever the case may be. In this case, we're gonna do a USB cable, bring it up here for him. So I think it's a, uh, we want the male end up here. So again, just bring the USB cable up through. You would also route your subwoofer RCA cables up through here, your iPod cable, wherever, whatever you're gonna install, it's a good thing to do it with the glove box out because you've got plenty of room. And, and, and again, glove box is the last thing we put in because we want plenty of time to make sure that everything's installed properly. And if, if we put it all back together, it's just more time wasted. So let's pause right here. We've got everything here. We're gonna plug it in, get the uh, new unit in the dash. Uh, at that point, we'll start exploring the relocation of the AC controls and reinstallation of the vents and reassembly of the car. So let's pause right here. All right, guys, so we've got, a, like I said, these connections we had here, the, the parking brake, um, this is so that you can watch video while your car is in park. Um, so the way you do that is, like, I'm just connecting a wire to this. I'm going to route it. And down here on our e-brake, you can see back here, I don't know if you can see it, there's a little wire connected to the e-brake. It's way down in there. And that's where we connect this wire. So that way we can watch videos while the car is in park. Uh, or with the e-brake, in park and with the e-brake on. So that's how you, you make that connection right there. I just wanted to show you guys that real quick before we got too much further. Um, and that being said, we're kind of now at the point where we are gonna start putting the unit into the dashboard. So this is a little tricky because you've got a ton of stuff to plug in. This is gonna vary with, with each one of you. So everybody's gonna have a little bit different uh, of a setup, but in, in this particular case, um, so here's our iPod cable. So most of you are going to have an iPod. This particular customer has a droid, so we're not going to plug that in. We have all of our RCA outputs, meaning front, rear, subwoofer. So here's rear out, front. This is an auxiliary input, so an additional auxiliary input. Um, if you're using anything different from your USB. Um, we've got, this is a video out. So this is going to be a video out to uh, rear headrest monitors or something like that. Um, we've got this, which is our, what is this guy, subwoofer out. We've got our USB in, which we're going to be using in this case. We've got our IR in, which plugs this little guy in, like so. And we've got, that's another GPS USB in. And this is another AV in, so this is a um, rear camera in. So this is where your rear camera input would be. And this is where, if you have an external video source, you would send video into this thing here. So let's stop yapping and get this thing installed. So let's plug our antenna in here. Let's plug our GPS and Bluetooth mics in here. And can you see, this is why we left all that extra room. The more room, the better. Be careful with your GPS antenna. Make sure you get it nice and secure. We'll plug in our main harness. Sounds like we got juice. So we'll plug in our first USB in, DVD USB in. I felt like I saw another one of those. this guy in like so and since he's not really connecting anything else uh, we'll call that down all right so now here's where the party starts is um, tucking all this away you know you can try wire tying it up but truth be told it's easier to kind of leave it uh, maneuverable um, because we've got a lot of stuff to get back in here and not a lot of room to put it so keeping all of this as clean as we can as you can see, it's already proven a little trying. All right, guys, so we've got the unit in the dashboard. Um, I want you to note back here, there's a big crossbar, an I-beam back here. Make sure all the wires are below that, except for the power harness we want tucked over here out of the way. Um, everything else is, is uh, 
is kind of back behind this. It can be a little challenging, so don't rush this process. We put a little tape over the, if you've got an automatic, put a little tape over the shift knob. If you've got a stick shift, pull it back into second or fourth gear, get it out of the way, tape it up. Um, it's gonna be working a lot in the area. So with, with the unit in there, um, we're good to go. Um, now all we really do is take the vents, snap them back in place, and we're gonna screw everything back down. Again, manual screwdrivers, no drills. And again, don't wrench one side down and then the other. Get both of them kind of secure, and then slowly start to tighten things together. So get that side secure. We'll come over here. Get that side secure. Back a little, another turn, another turn, and another turn. And the unit's actually installed at this point, so just to kind of give you a perspective, we'll take our trim piece, put it back on, and that's it. I mean, at this point, obviously we still need to do the relocation, but as far as this goes, let's snap everything back into place. Pretty smooth, huh? We like it. So now we've just got a couple things to tie up, namely the securing of the GPS antenna, the mounting of the Bluetooth microphone, and of course, the relocation of the climate controls. So let's pause right here. We're gonna play around with it a little bit, uh, probably grab some lunch, and join you guys back shortly for the relocation of the climate controls and reassembly of the glove box. So guys, we've got the entire car back together, of course. Uh, the glove box is reinstalled, our cables are routed. We've put a little uh, USB and auxiliary input here in the center console so you can have your, your audio in from any device, USB charging in from any device. Uh, here's your television remote control, glow in the dark buttons for glowing in the dark. Um, last thing we have to do, let's get the microphone installed. We went ahead and adhered the, it's not quite done with the antenna up there. We're going to get the antenna fixed to the dash with some double stick tape, but the microphone here, a couple different ways to do it. Um, you can see it's got a little nice little bubble in there like so. Um, I'm going to be really, uh, I don't think I'm going to get too permanent with this because I want to play with it and see how it actually ends up sounding. So maybe some of you have some ideas on how it sounds. Um, I'm going to kind of just place it right there right now so that the bulk of the microphone is exposed right through the slots in this plug here. Um, make sure that the, the sound quality is okay. Um, I think it's going to be fine up there. If, if everything works out well, I might just put a dab of glue or something up there to secure it. You can always just stick it on your windshield up here, but um, try to do it a little bit more clean than that. So that gets the, uh, that gets the microphone done. We're going to plug our light back in, snap our light back into the overhead area, and we're going to call this party a success. Um, actually, getting this back in here might be somewhat of a chore. There we go. So we're good there. So that really completes the install of the, of the, uh, of the head unit in the car. Um, what we've noticed is that actually the, the sound quality has dramatically improved. We've also done our stage one in this car um, and added our, our subwoofer system. And the combination of the three, even with the factory Harman Kardon amplifier, is, is unbelievably uh, impressive. Uh, so thanks again for joining us on this install video. We'll see you again in the future.